Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for February 24th, 2023. Well, yesterday, guys, I want to apologize. Um, that winter storm that went through the country knocked out our internet. As a matter of fact, my entire community uh, was completely dark uh, from internet yesterday. Um, sometime during the night, um, after 2 a.m., because I got up at 2 a.m. to check to see if it was back on, it still wasn't back on, but after that point in time, it did come back on. So back online this morning. So I apologize, there was no video yesterday. Um, yesterday turned out to be another whipsaw day as we tried to g garner some um, energy from that NVIDIA report and really trying to whip around and we left um, some kind of hopeful hammer patterns on the charts but overall more questions and answers so what does that mean for today well how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the friday edition of the morning market prep video Good morning once again everyone and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Well, let's take a peek at these charts and see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today. First off, when, we, when we're looking through here, um, well, doggone it, we just don't have the best of patterns here in um, our diamonds chart. Um, clearly, we're showing a little bit of bearishness here. This has been a, a long area of consolidation and very wide range, dangerous chopping, wide price action um, consolidation that was here. And we finally picked a direction here and we moved this down and broke this little upside trend. So now I think the critical point in this chart is going to be right through here. Um, it's whether or not we're going to hold this price support in the chart. So if those bears were to become um, emboldened today and there is some data that could potentially do that this morning then watch this level right here if we were to break this level i would suggest if that occurs some pretty big price moves could be um, in store for friday um, with some heavy selling so watch that close so once again if those bears find inspiration look for this area down here if that support area does not hold then I suspect that we could move substantially lower here in this chart and maybe even um, start attacking some areas down here. Now, what you'll find is critical about this is not only the price support, but then we're going to be challenging these areas down here around the 200 day moving average if we break that area here in, um, in that price support. So watch that carefully. Now, if those bulls find inspiration in the numbers today, and they certainly could, then look for that opportunity that we can push back up here and maybe re-attack this level of price resistance that you can see in the chart right through this area and through this area and then possibly even right up into the lower side of that chop zone here on um, the diamonds chart let's take a look at our spy now spy SPY we're kind of holding here at a critical level notice here um, this is that longer term bear break downtrend break here in the chart and we're trying to hold that area as price support right now notice we were kind of down here in the middle of the range of this choppy zone trying to hold on in here and if we stretch this on out well there's a little bit of price support in there but there's not a ton of price support the actual real price support is down here um, between these levels and if those bears were to find inspiration today and we break that area right there well you could see that we could slide down into this pretty quickly um, if those bears were to get engaged today. And unfortunately, if we look at our moving averages here, that would potentially constitute a break of those 50 and 200 day moving averages if that were the case. Now, if we can hold on to those 50 and 200 day moving averages and those bulls find inspiration today, then we would look for a retest back up into here. Maybe we can push up into that area and test some of these resistance levels in the chart. And if we can poke on through there, 
well, right back up here into that congestion area of the chart. Unfortunately, we we'll want to make sure and remember that even if we do push up in here, that that still sets up a possible lower high in our chart. So watch carefully. There's some decisions that are going to have to be made here soon on the SPY. If we take a look at our QQQ, you know, QQQ was the most precarious here because it was so overextended in the short term. And obviously this selling has relieved some of that pressure, but Boy, we add in that confusion of the really strong um, report from NVIDIA. Well, I shouldn't say really strong, but that report from NVIDIA where their um, their AI chips seem to save the day. But um, we're still holding in here pretty strong on this tech sector chart. So watching this, you can see right here is our support level, and it's going to be critical here today. If we were to lose that support level, well, where's our next place that we go to? And you can see there's a little teeny tiny bit of price support, maybe right in there. But if that doesn't work, then we have that potential, the big price supports down here um, in that chart. So that could mean a pretty painful sell-off here in the NASDAQ. Now, that doesn't mean everything is lost here. I, I wanna make that really clear because if the NASDAQ were to pull back into that area, that's nothing more than a retest of that downtrend break, which we should have done a long time ago. But we were so um, uh, anxious to be buyers here, we kind of overextended the QQQ, and that sets up these possible painful sell-offs. Now, if those bulls find inspiration today, and they rightfully could, then look right in here to see if we can push back up to those highs, testing that congestion area that we saw here in the chart. We'll want to keep a close eye on that as the next price resistance. And then also keeping in mind that we've created a lower high, lower low situation. There's that lower high, there's the lower low. So technically, even if we rally up, we may still be in the position of a potential downtrend overall. So watch that closely in the NASDAQ. IWM, well, kind of a similar circumstance where we um, have struggled here in that possible downtrend. We've got those support levels coming in here, trying to hold um, um, IWM here in the chart. We'll wanna watch that closely. If that were to fail, you'll notice in here, if that were to fail, an attack of the 50 and 200 day moving average may be possible. There's that next really clear, strong level of price support in the chart that would push us right down into those areas. Now, if those bulls find inspiration today, well, same thing here. Look for a retest back up in here, see if we can crawl back up into that congestion zone and re-attack that downtrend here in the chart to see if we're gonna either fail there or punch on through and hold. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our VIX. VIX yesterday had you know what the whip saw in the market had a relatively surprising pullback in fear particularly heading into this this number this morning personal incomes and outlay number this morning you would think there might be a little bit more concern about that considering that our uh, ppi and uh, cpi numbers both increased and consensus is suggesting that the uh, core pce also um, increases so uh, that would not be good uh, uh, for the market right now. So watching this closely, you can see we broke this downtrend here in the chart. And what we're doing is we're pulling back to test that area of price support. And if that price support holds in here, um, then we might see those bears engage. If it breaks and we push on down, well, I would think those bulls are gonna have a field day if that were the case, and we could see the market continue to rise pretty substantially. So uh, kind of a critical area here on our VIX. We'll wanna watch that closely. And then if we take a look at our T2122, our T20, whoops, 
T2122 indicator, this thing has been, I think, pretty darn valuable here because it continued to warn us and warn us and warn us of the overbought condition of this market, which finally broke that range. And now yesterday's move rallied us so much that we came all the way back up here near the midsection of T2122. So what does that mean? Well, it means we're heading into this report today. We're kind of straddling the fence, meaning that if those bulls can find inspiration out of that number today, we certainly have a big upside opportunity in this chart. But it also unfortunately means if those bears find inspiration, we have a big downside or as equally big downside opportunity that could occur in that chart. So kind of keep that in mind. T2122 doesn't give us direction. It just tells us how we could move on that day and where those pressure points might be. So right here, we're just kind of we're kind of straddling the fence trying to decide if that number is going to be good or bad. And what we've done lately is we've ignored, largely ignored these numbers um, that will likely engage the Fed. And we'll see if they can continue to do that today. If we take a look at our T2108, you know, T2108 has been um, very extended, but we've pulled this back substantially. 53, 54% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. But I got to tell you, there's nothing bearish about this chart yet. As you can see, we're holding right in here on a mid range. So I still have to give this up to the bulls. If we can find bullish inspiration today, then I look for that opportunity that that could turn and go right back to the upside. But today could be that decision point, whether we're going to turn back to the upside or if we're going to break this back down. And I can't tell you which is going to occur, just that so far T2108 is not showing us terrible bearishness. If we see T2107, you're going to see very much the same thing. We're hanging in there with quite a little bit of confidence and hold. If you'll notice this upside trend, we're hanging in there. We could still hold in here, find that bullish inspiration. We're 57 percent of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. That's kind of remarkable uh, considering our inflation rate and our and, uh, manufacturing and housing numbers but that's where it is and um, as you can see we still have a fairly substantial uh, potential that we could hold support in here and hold that trend and continue uh, to move on to the upside but once again today could be that deciding point whether we're going to hold or if we're going to break this down a bit so uh, just kind of be prepared for about anything now our t2101 yesterday was interesting um, we saw a huge surge in volume yesterday with the whipsaw um, a lot of racing um, into into trades and um, saw this extending to the upside i'm not sure we're getting um, good clear any of momentum in here, particularly when we look at the diamonds and we see that possibility that that could have almost been like an exhaustion volume move where everyone that was going to race in or everyone that was going to get in got in. And now the question is, did they do the right thing? We'll want to watch that pretty closely here this morning as that uh, core PCE number comes out. So with that, let's take a look at that economic calendar here this morning. And that economic calendar, well, this is going to be an exciting morning, I think. We've got that personal incomes and outlays number here this morning. And consensus is suggesting that that number will increase. Now, if we take a look at the consensus data in here, let me slide that over so you can see it. Um, that consensus data in here, um, consensus is looking for a 0.1 um, um, number in here. Notice that we were a, a 1.0, I should say. We were at a 0.2 last time. So that is a substantial increase in the month over month. We're also looking for an increase in the year over year. And what we're what everyone's got their fingers crossed for is this number right in here. We're hoping to see that this core PCE year over year does go ahead and decline to 4.3. If that comes up a little bit, that could be a problem for us. And here again, they're still hoping for that little decline here on that PCE price index year over year. 
to edge down. So watch that closely. It could be an interesting morning here of volatility with this number if that were to miss like we did on our uh, PPI and CPI numbers. After that, we're gonna get new home sales and we know that those home sales have been problematic. We continue to see month over month declines in um, home sales and home prices and yet markets trying to ignore it in favor of these earnings reports and then we're going to get our uh, consumer sentiment reading following that we're going to get uh, mester if you remember mester has been pushing for a 50 basis point increase um, i would expect the data that we've been seeing here lately she's going to continue that push she's going to be speaking here at 10 15 and then we've got collins coming in at 1.30 uh, with some more uh, jaw wagging from the Fed. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar for today. And our earnings calendar is much lighter on this day, giving us a little bit of break. And although we have some notables here today, we really don't have stocks that would be particularly market moving. Uh, let me go through a few of those here this morning. Well, I'll go through all of those. Um, so you don't even have to go to the blog here today because there really isn't that many. Uh, BRC will be reporting today. I've put that on the notable list. Uh, CRI, looks like they're already moving lower here this morning. Uh, GTLS will be reporting here today. Keep an eye on that. LAMR will be on that um, list today, SSSP, Oop, SSSP. Um, I must have a problem here. Uh, apologize, I'll have to fix that guys. And TBLA on that list today, and SLCA on that list today. It looks like we're getting a nice pop here on this one this morning. So watch those reports closely today. Let's take a look at a few of these stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. If you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. Uh, really, it's the way that uh, the YouTube algorithm works. It's the engagement with the video that makes probably as much difference as anything. So um, if you guys engage with the video and click those thumbs up on other people's comments on well uh, as well, that also helps. So thank you everyone who does take the time to do that and also so if you feel free, um, uh, if you feel like it's worthy, please share this video out on your social media feed. That also helps a lot in reaching new folks. So thank you everyone who does take the time to do that. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And remember guys, these are in no way, shape or form a recommendation to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, the way the market is acting and the way the market is set up for today, anything is truly possible. So make sure you're doing your own due diligence and be thinking very carefully about the risk you may be taking. Make sure it fits your personal trading style, your personal risk tolerance before making any move in this market. First off, let me take a look um, at the US dollar. This is kind of a critical thing that's going on here. We're seeing this US dollar continue to strengthen and when the US dollar strengthens, we see those bond yields typically strengthen. And when the bond yields strengthen, well, typically we see markets weaker um, overall. So we've got that dollar moving up pretty strongly here. And if you guys remember, I was mentioning this um, um, all the way back over here, that this was setting up for that potential upside move. So hopefully some of you took advantage of that. Really nice move um, heading up toward that 200 day moving average in this rounded bottom breakout. And I think, I think, um, looking at this this morning, I think there's a real possibility we could reach that 200 day moving average here over the next few days of trading um, here in that chart. So watch that closely. That could be putting a little bearish pressure here on the market. So 
keep that closely in mind. That's also having some pretty negative effects on gold, which doggone it, I, I hold some physical gold. I don't like to see that occurring, but we may be coming back into some price support levels here in the chart. This kind of got a little bit carried away for a bit. We'll want to watch that closely here on gold. We'll also want to keep an eye on silver here. Silver uh, pulling back pretty hardly. So if you're looking for some short trades, you might take a look at some stocks um, in that area. Take a look at um, stocks like uh, GE. Now GE setting up here in a pretty decent chart. Uh, notice we were pretty extended. We may need more rest or consolidation out here. And I think this is one that could really go either direction. Direction. But I got to tell you, in the chart patterns that I like to look at, um, I think this still has that bullish potential here in this chart. Notice that little upside trend. We may be right there at that opportunity that that could turn up. But it's going to require the market, I think, to show a little bullishness in the chart to make that occur. By the way, this is the same kind of chart that I showed you guys here in um, this Cody the other day. And Cody still holding in there on that nice little upside trend. It may be a little bit steep, it may need a little bit more rest, but you may want to watch that carefully for that opportunity to that move uh, uh, on higher. Watch that close. Um, this FD, FT, uh, DR also setting up in that potential pattern. Notice in here we broke through resistance. We're resting in this chart, trying to hold up. Now, certainly this was a bit of a parabolic move and we're slipping out from underneath that big strong move and we may need a little bit more consolidation in here before that goes. But as you can see, I've got that alerted. I'm waiting to see if that may have some upside move. Take a look at uh, Generac. Now Generac popped and pulled back pretty hard. But the thing I like about Generac in here that could have potentials, we're still holding on to that 50-day moving average and we're rounding this all up. So if we can grab some price support right in here in this chart and notice what we're trying to push back up, if that holds in here, look for that next opportunity maybe there in Generac back to the upside. Um, keep a close eye on that. Um, take a look at AMD. Now you guys know I'm holding a small position here on AMD and as much as I like it I, I still have this major concern and that is that potential downtrend that could um, work its magic in resistance and push us on lower. But if you look right here we've also got that little upside trend going and right here we have that parabolic move to the upside. So maybe all we're doing is resting this back to support in here. We may find some price support in here eventually. Watch that closely. If this price support holds, notice that 50 days moving up. Keep a close eye on that. There still may be some opportunities coming in here as long as we don't just turn around and really start to sink uh, back in this market on some of these data points coming today. So watch that close. Now, because I'm running out of time, hey, I want to wish you guys all a fantastic day. Thanks so much for being here. Sorry for yesterday. Um, I do apologize. There's nothing I can do. I had no internet. The whole region had no internet. Um, so I apologize for that. I want to wish you all a fantastic day uh, and more importantly, a wonderful weekend. Wish you all the best and see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Take care. Everybody.